In this video, we'll show you how to set up your charging dock and learn about your controller and headset charging states. Make sure that all the connections are snug. Next, connect your controllers to the charging dock by aligning the magnetic pins. You'll feel a haptic buzz on a magnetic lock when controllers are properly docked. Then, set your headset on the dock so that the magnetic pins align. Once your headset is successfully docked, you'll hear an audio chime. Make sure to remove the protective cover before placing your headset on the charging dock. The LED status lights on your headset and controllers will be solid amber while charging and will turn solid green when the devices are fully charged. If your controller and headset battery is below 3%, the status LED will be solid red until it goes above 3%. Then, it will turn solid amber as it continues to charge. If your controller charge level is below 3% and you try to turn it on, the LED status light will blink red three times. If your headset charge level is below 3% and you try to turn it on, the LED status light will blink red three times. To set up your MetaQuest Pro charging dock, first plug in the USB-C charge cable into the 45 watt power adapter and plug into a power outlet. When traveling, you can use the included controller charge cable with the 45 watt power adapter to charge a single controller. You can charge the headset using the 45 watt power adapter and the included USB-C cable. For the best experience, we recommend always using the included power adapter and cables when charging your devices. For more information, please visit the MetaStore Help Center site.